Hey, what is up everybody? Thank you so much for watching this video. And today in this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can mirror your newly iPhone X or 10 to your smart TV or a non-Apple TV or any TV, frankly speaking. Now, massive shout out to my bud here for lending me his iPhone X. And for those who are having iPhone X, please like this video. And also, I think it's a pretty great phone. Okay, so it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is to have a Wi-Fi connection and a laptop and your TV, of course. Now, if you want to do this without your laptop, don't worry about it. The next video will be coming up soon, I believe. I believe. It's gonna be uploaded, uh, I mean, tomorrow or maybe day after that, so don't worry about it. But in this video, you will need a, a laptop to do the middleman work. In order to merge the iPhone X to your non-Apple TV, we surely need a uh, laptop. Now, go to settings, go to control settings and customize the control panel. Now, you, there you might be seeing a feature called iPhone, I mean, a screen mirroring feature. Now, if you don't see it there, just put it up there and it will automatically show it to your uh, um, control panel because uh, there are tons of people who don't have uh, the screen mirroring option. Now swipe up, uh, swipe up the control, swipe down the control panel because it's iPhone X from the right top right corner, and you will see the feature called screen mirroring. When you tap on it, it will look, it will, uh, it will look for Apple TV, which is which is exactly what we are looking for. Now this feature is uh, this feature allows you to mirror your iPhone screen to your. Apple TV, but in this video we will be doing the screen mirroring to the non-Apple TV. That's pretty much it. Now, honestly, I can't bring the iPhone X to my home, but I will show you how to do it. Now, swipe up the, swipe down the control panel. I'm really sorry because I'm just used to it. Okay, swipe down the control panel and click the screen mirroring feature, and it will look for all the Apple TVs nearby. But it won't show you any because you don't have Apple TV. Now, to to show the Apple TV, you need a laptop with the internet connection. Now, open your laptop and download a software called A PowerSoft iPhone Recorder. Now, I have a separate video for this. There, I've shown you five different softwares. You can download any of them. But in this case, I'll be using the A PowerSoft iPhone Recorder. Now, go ahead and download it. It's pretty simple. It's free. Don't worry about it. Just uh, Double click on it and it will ask you for a few simple steps. Just click next and it will automatically install the software on your system. And now you can do this also with your desktop PC or laptop, but in this case I'll be using my laptop. Okay, that's it. Now, okay, once it's installed, go ahead, click finish and uh, open up the software. It might ask you to register and stuff like that. Just wait for a few seconds and it will show you that start trial or something like that. But before that, just make sure your laptop is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your phone is connected to. So when you are when you're done doing that, just click on evaluate and it will surely open up the software. That's 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 all we want. Now before doing this, just make sure it's uh, it says ready at the bottom. So yeah, okay, that's pretty much it. Now that's the part when you need to uh, connect your laptop to your TV. Now there are two methods. You can do this by using HDMI cable or VGA cable. And also you can do this by uh, using screen mirroring feature on your laptop. Now if you have no idea how to do that, you can watch my uh, previous video. But don't worry about it, I'll just link all the videos in my description box below. You can watch that video where, I've, where I used n nothing, literally. I just used simple Wi-Fi connection to connect my laptop to my TV using simple screen mirroring features on my laptop. But in this case, to make things really, really quicker, you need a HDMI cables. You need a HDMI or DVI or even VGA cable if your uh, TV supports these uh, cables. Now, once you're done finding them, don't worry about it. Let me show you how to do it. Okay, so these are HDMI cables that I've got. I've got this uh, HDMI cable for about, I don't know, maybe uh, two bucks or three bucks. But uh, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Now, uh, if you don't, if you have no idea how to do it, let me show you. Just open up, uh, I mean, take your laptop and uh, you will see a, a HDMI port on your laptop. That's uh, that's pretty standard for new laptops. But if you have an old laptop, you can also use a VGA cable to connect your laptop. So that's pretty much it. In this case, I'll be using HDMI cable because my laptop supports HDMI and USB 3.0. You can see that. And also, there, there's go. That's my TV. Now, once you connected both of them, it will show you a door icon on the HDMI channel. Just click on it, and it will connect your—I uh, mean, it will connect your laptop to your TV. And that, you, as you can see in my video. 
that's pretty much it now that's that's my laptop you're seeing on my TV and that's all we need to know now if you have trouble connecting your laptop to your TV you can also drop a comment down in the section below comment section below I will surely answer you and help you out now once you are done doing that now check out your iPhone and click on screen mirroring feature and it will literally show you there is indeed a Apple TV nearby but that's not a Apple TV that's our laptop that's working as a Apple TV so that's pretty much it enjoy the video and thank you so much for watching bye guys and by the way iPhone 8 uh, I have an iPhone 7 plus video video will be coming soon and I'll also be uploading the iPhone X video without using any cables thank you so much for watching guys stay tuned peace out Chasing leading us, and love is all we'll ever try.